What's going on, people? So, the other day, whatever day those Obsidian 13s came out, I was at the mall to pick those things up, right? And I figured since I'm in the mall, I should go walk around and see if there's anything here that I want, right? And, well, not exactly, right? I didn't come across anything that really stood out. But over at the van store where I got that bag which had this box, which has some shoes, I saw a pair that I thought my dad might like. There's a side in case anybody cares to see that, right? I don't know what people do with that information, but it's out there now. So, let's go ahead and get this thing open. We'll kind of talk about it and all that good stuff. Go from there. So, first off, I've got to look at them, make sure they look like they're supposed to look. I'm pretty sure I checked them out when I was there that day or whatever. But, I don't know, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just go with it and just kind of buy stuff and move on. So there we go, looking at everything. Things are looking good. And if they weren't, from what they were telling me, I think there's like a a month or two where you can go go back to the store and you get your money back. But basically it's like, it's an indefinite return period is how the guy described it. So if you don't like something about the shoes and that time period has passed, you just go back and you can get at least store credit, which is pretty fine for me, you know? Cause they tend to have some decent stuff. So let's see, switch these around because I like to prefer to use the right shoe when I'm doing my reviews. It just makes sense more so for the camera side of it. So let's go ahead and talk about this right here. For those that don't know, it is the Vans Ultra Range EXO SE. So normally I would pronounce that EXO, but I want to spell it out for those who might not know or whatever. So there's that for you. Now. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start this review down here with the bottom. So what you're looking at down there, it looks like the last one of these shoes that I saw. So I'm guessing that's gonna be the standard thing, standard band sort of style, right? So you, you got that going on. If you've had bands, you kind of know what you're getting into to some extent, just a slightly different shape, right? Moving on up here to the midsole here, one of the things that you're gonna notice is that it does have that not so standard bands look. And the reason being that it's of the Comfy Kush variety, so, excuse me, the Ultra Kush variety. So that's part of the reason for that. It's kind of reminds me of like React type shoes in a way, as far as like the squishiness and all that good stuff. Well, minus this part, that's not as squishy, but back here and where it matters, it, it is. So now past that, all that good stuff, give you a quick overview shot of this here shoe so you can see what all we're looking at. And you can see that it's not a whole lot to it, but to some people, they're probably going to think, oh, that's pretty decent. I could see buying that, right? Now, down here, getting into the actual details, right? Down here around the toe box, you do have this sort of like rubbery kind of like utility shoe type of material going on, right? Going to give it a little bit of durability, a little bit of structure, all that good stuff, right? And some weather resistant type things to some slight extent anyway. And then above that, kind of negating that, is this sort of suede type of new buck type of thing going on up here on, on the top of the toe box right so that doesn't look like it's going to do much for you so if any water gets past this point eh that might be it for you so anyways let's go ahead and move on to the middle section of this here on the side right so what you have here is kind of like a plasticky feel to it not so much like the what's around the toe box but the the military army style camo thing or whatever that it feels like it's going to be something that is kind of durable, right? So that's a good thing, at least in my opinion, right? At least because I, I got these from my dad and he's always out doing stuff. So it seemed like a good shoe for him, right? So you got that going on. And then in the middle, you have that line. I forget. I think there's a term for that line. I just can't remember what it is. But it's kind of a similar thing you see on a lot of Vans shoes, right? Not all of them, but a lot of them. And then moving back to the back end of the shoe, the same thing that you had on the front, you have on the back, right? As far as that little piece of suede, whatever. Not amazing quality in case you were curious, right? But it is there, just kind of blacking out the back. And then down there you have this little overlay piece on the bottom of the heel, which matches up with the same style you saw on the front, just in a different color. And also while we're back there, right? Across the back, you do have that Vans logo down there which this one is more just like a flat piece, which I do like a lot more than like the old standard old schools or whatever, cause those, I just don't like the design of that particular logo with like the broken piece in the middle where it's just kind of overlaid over something. That's eh, just silly to me. So anyways, also you have on the back, you have this little pull tab type thing says ultra range, right? 
So that's gonna be that for you as far as the outside of the shoes. We'll switch around here. The laces, they're pretty much just your standard laces, right? I was looking to see if there's a, an extra pair or anything. It's not, it's just the black ones is all you get. And they are pretty much just your standard black flat laces, right? Very plain, very simple. And then outlining the lacing area, which I didn't really talk about much, it's going to be that same material that you saw in other parts of the shoe, right? With a slight little Vans piece on the side, letting you know what's going on. And then you can tell just a little bit if you catch it from the right angles, there is some perforations here on the tongue behind there. So that's always nice. Gives you that little extra bit of breathability and stuff because these shoes overall don't seem like they'll be the most breathable, but I don't want to say that they'll be a problem necessarily. Just something to consider, right? I feel like my my pair kind of was, but it's been so long since I wore them, you know? So that's about it for the outside for the most part. Finishing things off at the very top of the tongue, you do have Vans Ultra Range up there and another one of those pull tabs. No pull, no words on the pull tab this time. So let's go ahead and jump onto the inside, right? Get things knocked out. So down in there, that's what I was talking about earlier with the whole Ultra Cush. I'm not sure what the difference is between Ultra Cush and Comfy Cush, but I'm inclined to say that Ultra Cush has to be better, right? How much better? I don't know. That's a question for Vans or people who buy more of them than I do. Otherwise, just your standard insole, right? And then on the back end and all that good stuff, again, quality of these materials, nothing amazing, but it's, it's fine for what it costs. I wanna say the retail was like $100 or something like that. Sounds right. I could look at the receipt, but the receipt's down on the floor and I'm not picking it up. So there's that for you. I think we've covered everything there really is to talk about with these. So I'll hit you with some personal thoughts and then also some sizing will be mixed into there towards the end or whatever. So I'm not gonna do an actual on foot since this isn't for me. Now, this right here, right? I do like the pair that I bought. I think they're, I wanna say, I felt that they were very comfortable. I can't speak too much on that, but if you want more of an in-depth review of that, watch the end of the video that I actually did on my pair and that'll let you know what the comfort is like and all that good stuff. But as far as like the shoe, the visual and all that, it's not for me because I'm not a camo guy. I just can't stand it, you know? But for my dad, who this shoe is for, he's gonna be pretty into these because he's all about that, right? And he does like the comfortable shoes that I buy him so he'll feel where these go out, do whatever daily adventures he chooses to get into and be fine. So it doesn't matter that I don't like them because they're just not for me, you know? But I, I at least like what I know of this particular model. So I'd, I'd suggest it to other people that are considering getting a pair. And as far as like the sizing goes, again, I can't quite recall much of the pair that I have because it was so long ago that I wore them. But I do remember going true to size and the reason I did that is because when you have like the comfy cush or the ultra cush or whatever, the shoes don't fit as roomy as the standard version. So like the comfy cush old school is going to have less room in it because there's more of an insole and stuff, right? So these, he's normally like a size 10. These are a 10 and a half, but given that it should be fine for him, you know? If not, like some thicker socks will cover that. So maybe, I think I have some socks. Maybe I'll send them some socks with these or something. But I think that's about it. I feel like I've talked enough to get all the pictures through and covered whatever it is I needed to cover. So we're good from here. Therefore, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Gotta take some pictures for the last couple videos that I just recorded and then possibly do a little bit of a live thing since Extreme Rules comes on tonight. We'll see what happens. Later, people.